We're here to teach you how to make the traditional Philly cheesesteak. It's super easy on the Blackstone griddle, and I am going to walk you through today the easy recipe of doing so. So let's hop right into the cook. All right, first we gotta chop our onion. So we gotta have onions on the Philly cheesesteak. Thing on chopping onions is you got the root and the base, or the base and the root, whatever you wanna do. But on this one, you wanna make sure you're chopping all right here on the tip. Just the tip, get that off there. That's how that goes, so you got that piece. And then we wanna go ahead and keep the root intact, but we're gonna do a little bit off the top of the root. So then you got it flat. So you got flat there, and you got it flat there. So it's nice and easy, step one. We haven't peeled it yet, so we're not peeling it yet. Then, while it's flat like that, keep it nice and simple, cut it in half. Now we're in half, we got half an onion, see? Easy to do. All right, so we got our onion, we got it peeled. Now we're gonna slice it for our cheese sticks. Real simple, nice and easy, down, down, down. Real simple, you're not dicing here, we're just slicing. So then you get your nice and sliced for your Philly cheese sticks. Real easy recipe. All right, we got our temperatures here. I wanted to make sure you guys can see these. I get a lot of questions on temperatures. So these are the temps you want your grill or griddle whatever you're using on. You don't wanna to go too hot here. Our onion is chopped. Now we're gonna put it on the griddle. We're gonna get our seasoning on there as well. And uh, it's gonna be an easy cook, guys. So let's just throw this onion on right now. Let's start with a little bit of the oil here and get that all lubed up with a little olive oil. You can use avocado oil. You can use canola oil. You can do vegetable oil. You can do all you want, kind of oil you want. I'm using avocado and olive, but today, just olive oil. So we get that all in there. I got, you saw the heat. Let's go ahead and throw our onions on. Whew, you hear them sizzle, like a little sizzle onion. Get that going. We're gonna go ahead and throw this Kinder's blend on the onions. I think it tastes amazing. And so we're gonna go ahead and throw that on the onions. Let's throw that on there, that nice and seasoned. Easy enough, gotta love it. Oh, it's a little bit of shaving, I don't want that. All right, so I'll get that mixed up here. It's all nice and cooked. It's real simple, real easy. Anybody can do this at home, guys. I know if you got your, your first time griddler and you're a little nervous, this is the recipe you wanna try. You wanna definitely uh, try for sure. So let's get those cooked down. We'll get that on those on the right side of our griddle. I have a four burner 36 inch. So we're gonna cook those on the right side of our griddle. And we're gonna cook the meat on the left side. Make sure we mix up all of our oil here with our onions and let them sizzle in there. Threw a little bit more olive oil on there to make sure we're nice, clean, and clear on those. Make that nice, crisp, kind of cook them down, let them become translucent, really. All right, we got our shaved ribeye. So I went to Roth's IGA, that's pretty fancy here in town. Um, they're really nice, they shaved it down for me. This is not a sponsored video, but I wanna give them a shout out. But you wanna get that shaved down to like deli thin sliced meat when you're doing this. This is the meat you're gonna to wanna to use for sure. Let's oil down. We're gonna put our meat in. And a little bit of uh, olive oil here as well. To make sure we don't get it all sticky. That nice spread out. Our meat. Nice and clean and clear. And we're gonna throw our meat on and we're gonna hit it with our Kinder's as well. We got a Kinder's buttery garlic blend to go with the meat. I love the flavor of it. If you haven't tried Kinder's, you gotta try it out. So let's go ahead and put our meat on. That nice sizzle. I got them to slice this up very thin for me. Like very, very thin. What one piece is a little thick because the, the fat was so thick and they couldn't do that any thinner. I was breaking the machine. So they were like, we can't go any thinner, sir. I'm like, yeah, that makes sense. But this is enough for a couple sandwiches. We're gonna cook this bad boy up. It tastes good. It tastes real good. Hit it now with the seasoning. That nice and seasoned. Take our beef.
And this meat should cook pretty fast because it's so thin, it's paper thin. You ask for sandwich thin, you get sandwich thin and it cooks really quick. Um, that's why I start the temperatures on a little bit lower because you don't want very high temps because you don't want to overcook your food. You can always turn the heat up. It's a pain to cool the griddle down. So this is the way to do it. Slow and low. All right, so we're gonna have all you traditionalists out there, I got yelled at last time I make this from Philly. We're going cheese whiz on the Philly cheese steak. This is what you're supposed to be doing. So let's mix it with our meat and see how it looks. Let's get it all mixed up. We're gonna put our cheese whiz on here. And uh, I personally have never had cheese whiz. This is gonna be my first time. So let's get it all on here. Mixed in with our meat. Ooh wee, that is a lot of cheese whiz. I'm excited to try this one. All right, let's get it all mixed. Like I said, this is an easy recipe, guys. If you're a new griddle owner, new Blackstone owner, this is one of the first things you should cook. It's not hard. You see the meat, the onions, the cheese whiz. We're gonna do the buns and get them all toasted next. So it's, it's a really easy cook when you're thinking about it. It's not too bad. Some people use butter. I use mayonnaise to toast my buns. So it's real simple here. You just wanna open these bad boys up and you wanna splather the, butter, the mayonnaise on here. Get them all good to go. You don't need oil on the grill. You don't need butter on the grill. You just need mayonnaise in the bun. Nice and simple. We're gonna lather them up and put them on the grill. So let's toast these buns. This should be pretty easy. The grill's still warm. We didn't turn it off. We kept it on, kept it on low heat. We got all the little uh, increments off of here, but just real simple and just put them right down on there and get them toasted on there. You want a toasted bun with your traditional Philly cheese. Nice and simple. Don't put any oil down. Don't put any butter on the griddle. Just like this. And you just let them sit for about a minute to two minutes and they'll come out nice and toasty. We'll take a look. We'll let them cook right now while they're doing that. Hey guys, I appreciate you coming to the channel. This is a fun Philly cheesesteak cook. If you want more recipes, smash that like button and hit subscribe and turn those notifications on because I'll have more recipes coming out. We're gonna do two recipes a week, plus tips and tricks. I'm trying to here to help everybody, so I appreciate it. Let's get back into the cook. These buns are about done, so we're gonna go ahead and flip them and make sure they're toasted. So let's take a look. Oh yeah, they're looking, they're looking nice and toasty. Look at that. Get that off of there. Like a nice toasted bun. Those are yummy. Let's make our sandwiches. All right, we got it all done. Let's try this thing. It smells tremendous. I know you can't smell it through your phone or your computer, but I can smell it here and it's good. And I wanna eat it, so I'm gonna eat it right now. All right, here we go. Mmm. 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 It's so good. Sorry, I'm making a mess, but all right, you guys have sold me on the cheese whiz. Mmm, it's so good. I gotta, I gotta wipe it off. <laughs> I know, I should have done it with a paper towel. All right, okay, you guys sold me on this cheese whiz. It is so good and delicious. You Philly people, big shout out. But I appreciate you guys stopping by the channel. Click or touch the screen now and you can watch more recipes done by me. All right, guys, I'll catch you in the next cook.